Welcome to NAST. Your vision is as a media company for the future, with a remarkable past. And yet your past is scattered with slurs of racism and lack of diversity within the company and its many brands. So let's change that. We here at Change Management Corporation are making it our mission to assist your company in diversifying and making it a safe place for all members. For this to occur, we need to look at it from a bottom-up perspective and involve all team members of your company in this process of change. With this method, we will be giving responsibility to everyone within the company to identify and combat racism when it occurs in their department so, this, so that it can be prevented from even occurring. We will be giving access to new business opportunities and allowing diversity to be discussed in your various publications. Whilst this is all happening, we want you at management to be focused on focusing on making the change so we can create new behaviours for the company before you refreeze at a stage where you have a diverse, happy and thriving workplace. You've already done the first step yourselves in unfreezing as you've recognised the need for change and what must be changed so we're here to advise you on the rest. We've called upon two employees of Contenast to provide us with their feedback. Hi. My name is Blake and I'm a current employee at the organisation Conmast. With the recent controversy surrounding the organisation, I was leaving, left feeling quite disheartened and dishevelled and a little bit ashamed of working there. However, knowing that the organisation has sought support and input from a consultancy firm uh, to fix these issues has made me feel a lot better. The plan that the organisation, uh, the external consultancy firm, uh, Change Management Co Corporation has put forward uh, has made me feel revitalised at work and really hopeful for the future. Hi, I'm Alex and I work for one of the subsidiaries of Cognast. The recent media attention to a parent company has been really difficult to watch because who wants to work in an environment that's been branded toxic? But I'm happy to say that management has been taking steps to make sure that that's not the case, including bringing in external consultants. For a successful approach to bottom-up leadership, we advise that you guys in management train all of your employees in leadership roles to develop ways in which they can prevent microaggressions that are considered the modern form of racism. We've had the previous experience in combating racism in the workplace for the global chain of Starbucks. They were facing a PR crisis such as yourselves and we helped initiate a racial bias training program which only took a day. This program created awareness of employees' unconscious bias and encouraged the building of relationships amongst employees to create empathy. This program was extremely successful and it was integrated into the training of all new employees. We'll, in, we'll integrate such a program into CONNAST to create a space for inclusion and kindness. We will also incorporate NADLA's model of collecting data and feedback from all employees, analysing the data to determine the exact issues and their sources, and feeding data back to the employees so they can have a thorough knowledge of what needs to change, feel as though they are being heard, and so we can have an inclusive space to create change and problem solve together. We've also considered Lewin's change model by firstly creating a climate for change. You've shown the need for a shift, and we've come in to initiate a plan to eradicate unhealthy workplace practices. And we're going to show what the organisation can be like and what it can achieve. Secondly, we'll be engaging and enabling the, the organisation. We'll be creating freedom of speech between all employees, evoking the want for change and empowering what is needed and what is required to be done. And lastly, we'll be implementing and sustaining the change. This will create wins from all that has been achieved. We won't allow for people to become complacent with what's been achieved either and we'll be constantly aiming for more. Um, there will be consequences for those who don't adhere to the change as to upkeep the change. We got in contact with a consumer of one of Conanast's brands, a viewer of Bon Appetit's YouTube channel for her thoughts. I'm a current consumer of Conanast. I've been watching their YouTube channel Bon Appetit for over a year now. I was really saddened to see that all my favourites had left the show. When I looked into it, I was shocked to see that it was because of racism and internal management problems. I stopped watching the show. However, I've started re-watching it over the past couple of weeks, seeing that there's new employees that are on the show and they're allowing their culture to come through the food that they make on it. I'm really happy to see this change and I'll continue watching from now on. Without change, Con Nast will continue to upset customers and employees, so it's inevitable and necessary change to improve profitability, productivity and the brand.